Hi everyone, in this video we're going to continue our discussion of angles and their measures. So angles whose measures are not whole numbers can be written in terms of minutes and seconds. So let me go ahead and write that down. So angles whose measures are not whole numbers. So are not whole numbers can be written in terms of minutes and seconds. Can be written in terms of minutes and seconds. So let's briefly talk about minutes and seconds and do a really, really simple example. So what is one minute? So one minute Okay, so one minute. The notation we use is a one, and we put a little dash. Okay, that means one minute. And this is one sixtieth of a degree. Okay, so it's one sixtieth of a degree. So one sixtieth of a degree. Okay, and we can write this. So we have that one minute is equal to one over 60 degrees. Okay, so if you had um, 60 minutes, you would get one degree. So if you had, it's kind of like hours, uh, so kind of like a degree is like an hour, I guess, if you think of it that way. So if you think of, if you, if you think of time, um, you can think of it that way. So 60 minutes gives you uh, one degree. So just, just for fun, 60 minutes gives you one degree. Then we have seconds. So what is one second? So one second. So a second is a one, and it's got two dashes, okay? And a second is one sixtieth of a minute, which makes sense, right? Because 60 seconds give you a minute when you're thinking of time. So one second is one sixtieth of a minute, or one thirty-six hundredth of a degree, okay, of a degree. So one minute, sorry, one second is one thirty-six hundredth of a degree. So I'm going to put these in boxes because we're going to use these in the next example. Okay, so it takes 60 minutes to make a degree. In this case, it would take uh, 3,600 seconds to make a degree. Okay. And again, if you think of degrees as an hour, it would take 3,600 seconds uh, to make an hour, and it takes 60 minutes to make to make an hour. So just comparing it to time, because time is something most people can relate to. All right, let's go ahead and do a really simple example. So EX means example, so EX. And the question is to convert. So we have this, this expression, 61 degrees, 42 minutes, and 21 seconds to what's called decimal degrees. So to decimal degrees. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do it. Solution. So I'll start by writing it again. So 61 degrees, 42 minutes, 21 seconds. We can break this up. We want to convert it to just degrees. So this is 61 degrees plus 42 minutes plus 21 seconds. So this is 61 degrees plus, and now we can convert this. We can convert this into degrees. We know that one minute is equal to one sixtieth of a degree. So this should be 42 over 60 degrees plus. And then now we can convert this and we know that one second is one thirty-six hundredth of a degree. So this is going to be 21 over 3600 degrees. This is equal to 
putting all of this in the calculator, just typing this in as a fraction, you should get 61.758 degrees. And that's it. I hope that made sense. We'll continue this series in the next video. Thanks for watching.